What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're doing another moon photo. We're going back to Apollo 17, which is supposedly the last mission. Now that mission's crew consisted of Eugene Cernan, which I believe is the commander. You got Harrison Smith, which I believe is the module pilot, as well as Ronald Evans, which was the module pilot. And I believe it was both Eugene Cernan as well as Harrison Smith that went down to lunar surface and Ronald just uh, orbited the moon in the uh, command module, right? Before we even start this, let me show you a couple of funny things, folks where you can go to Google and there's a lot of questions asked about this mission and why weren't there other uh, additional ones, right? Let's just jump right into it. All right, this is where you get a lot of questions. I want you guys to see the answers to this because this is pretty funny. Uh, why did they stop going to the moon? It says Apollo 17 became the last manned mission to the moon for an indefinite amount of time. The main reason for this was money. The cost of getting to the moon was, ironically, astronomical. Now, we always heard that excuse, right? And that's a good possibility that it was. But this one I find interesting. Why did Apollo 18 get canceled? John Young, who flew Apollo 10 and 16, believed that the fear of losing astronauts was a reason why NASA canceled Apollo 18, 19, and 20. And if you're not aware, Apollo missions were 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, and 17. 13, they had a major problem. There's a malfunction during the mission. And so that never made it. And of course, 10 never went down to the lunar surface. They just basically just orbited around the moon and took photos and stuff, right? Anyway, so I thought that was kind of funny how it just says, oh, they were worried about the astronauts, losing astronauts. I'm like, seriously? So six prior ones, it was okay. You guys did six, seemed to do pretty well. And yet, wait a minute, hold on. Let's stop going 18 and 19, 20. Folks, you know how I feel about this. I don't think they ever stopped going. And the biggest major reason is what I'm about to show you in this photo. All right, let's just get right into that photo, which is right here. I need your help on this, folks. This is interesting. We can see the mountains in the back, which I believe they're not mountains, and I don't think they ever were mountains. And this video is going to prove that. All right, you can see the astronaut right here, or at least his shadow, uh, right here on the ground. So he's not very far behind that shadow, right? What I find interesting is this. When you look to the right, you can see all of the footprints, right? You see them right there? Like they were walking up on the edge of this crater. But I'm a little confused. Maybe you can help me out with this. Why does this other astronaut look so darn tiny when it's literally feet away from the footprints? Look at this. And of course, this is bad quality because I'm zooming in, but it'll be a lot better in a moment. But you can see this right here. Literally right there. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It looks like a figurine. Or it was superimposed. Now, why would they do that? Well... They're doing that to trick the eyes, to give you the idea that this is actually mountains and that they're far off in the distance. Are they really? And are they mountains? So in other words, if you were to get rid of this little astronaut, would that appear as mountains or something much closer? Folks, for all we know, they brought like a foot figurine and just like planted it on the ground to make it look like it's far off in the distance to give you the illusion that these are actually mountains. What if that astronaut was not there? Would these appear to be mountains way off in the distance? Look at the actual blurring, folks. Look at this. Absolutely sad, sad photo. Now, I'm going to just back up a little bit. I want you to take a look just above this astronaut. Okay, this one off in the distance. Right here, about the 1 o'clock position on top of this mountain with your magnifiers. Now, you're going to see like this white piece. It has black in the middle of it and several other things, which are really bizarre. Also, take note of this what looks like a dark circle right here. Okay. Now, have a look at these other mountains over here on the right-hand side. Since when do mountains have straight lines just underneath them? Or are they mountains at all? Notice right here, just to the right of center, right here, it looks like a darker area. Well, these are not mountains, folks. Here's the photo again. We can really zoom in now. Again, folks, here's the actual footprints. I don't understand. It's literally feet away. That doesn't even look right. It looks like a figurine like they just stuck into the ground. That's what I believe it to be. Okay. Look at the blurring in here, folks. Look at this. I mean, you can literally see this doing this. And again, we have these so-called mountains. But when you look at them here, let me just back up just a little bit. I can see... A, a line like this, it goes down like this, real faint, goes like this, straight up, nice 90 degree angle. Looks like it does this. You guys see that line? Look at it carefully. Okay. You should see a smooth transition coming down from the top of this hill onto the ground. You should not see a line underneath a mountain. 
You should not see that. Uh, and I see that in a lot of these photos, folks. It's absolutely sad. We got blurring coming down over here. We have what looks like a pipe right here. And we'll get into the back of this because this one right here alone, I want you guys to take your magnifiers out and have a look at this right there. Before we do anything, pause it right here so you can have a better look. In my opinion, this thing is absolutely mechanical and it's sitting right there on the surface. They didn't quite take it out, folks. There's much, much more in here. All right. As I started getting into this, I started noticing weird patterns. Burning this stuff in here, suddenly we have other things in here that clearly doesn't look like hills. And again, I was talking about this here, this area. It looks kind of darker, right? Something right here. There's another shape in here. You can see a straight line going down. Something to that effect. See that? Right here. Both of these pieces. This piece up here. We have this kind of grayed out circle. I don't believe this astronaut's real. I believe it's a figurine. And that this area is not that far from this astronaut at all. I believe this thing's feet away. And I don't mean two. I mean like you can see right here. Again, footprints everywhere here. Okay, it's literally feet to this supposed astronaut. And I don't think it's much further to that. Now, I know that sounds weird because you're looking at what looks like an astronaut off in the distance. And these look like mountains. Are they really though? So let's go back in this and really get into this. Now, let's look at again back up. Here's the astronaut right there. Okay, how far are these things now? If he was to stand up over here, he would tower over and out of the camera. So how far are they really? They're right in front of his face, folks. All right, now let's do the full enhancement. Okay, now check this out here. These are those lines I showed you here. Look at it really good. Okay. Again, these here. Folks, look at this stuff at the top. What is all that? What are we seeing here? I'm seeing what looks like mechanical parts in here. And you can see that line. This doing this. Okay. It's right there, folks. Right there. Going down. Again, this darker area. Okay. Of course, that was the whole area. You can see where it does this right here. But the inner part is right here. I see what looks like machinery. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Folks, have a look at this through your magnifiers. What I'm seeing, it looks like structures or it could be some kind of craft, like a crash site of some sort. Pure speculation, of course, folks. But I'm seeing a bunch of machinery or something laying on the ground here. It almost looks like two pipes here, at least openings right there. Something at the top here, and it's going down towards this area here. Got this piece, and it looks like something's going down into this area. Again, we've got these two pieces. We've got this opening here, and nobody says that's got to be a doorway. It could be part of the machine. Okay, now let's bounce back over to the left-hand side. Again, here's that other piece right there. Did that right there. You can see it's a little darker now. Okay, these are not mountains at all. Now let's go right to the fully enhanced. This stuff is part of, or well, these supposed hills are part of what you're seeing in the foreground. It looks like machinery, some kind of mechanical parts, something or other. This thing here is just wild. But there's also something right on the side of it, right here. Look at the little details right there. as well as the one on this side. Look what looks like mechanical parts right there in this piece. And I believe if you look right here and doing this, it looks like it goes right up into this hill. So is that really a hill or not? I don't believe that it is. In my personal opinion, based on what I'm seeing in this photo, I don't believe that it is. You've got lines that are doing this. Like this is more than just landscape. This stuff's strewn all over the landscape, okay? Here we are again. Fully enhanced, 
Look at the stuff that's in this photo, folks. Here. Looks like piping. Another one here. Some other mechanical parts. Stuff way up in here. In fact, I just drew over a pipe it looks like sticking out right here. You can see what looks like something right there. But it's gray. See that? Right there. Another white piece sitting right there. Here's this other piece I was telling you here. Okay. It looks like connected mechanical parts. Right here. It looks like it's white right there. It's going down like this. Something coming down from this area. I don't even know what to make of this. I couldn't even tell you what it is, folks. I'm just going to back up and get the whole photo in here. Now, I don't know if this is too far off you folks, but here's the whole photo. If you want to stop it and look at it with your magnifier. A lot of you folks are on good-sized PCs or you're watching it through your TV. Look at this thing now. Is it some kind of crash site? I don't know. Folks, what are we seeing here? In my personal opinion, after enhancing this photo, I see machinery. And it's not that far off. Again, that so-called astronaut in the distance doesn't even look like an astronaut. It could be like a 12-inch a little statuette or a little plastic figurine they just put in the ground to give you the illusion that it's a distance away and that those are giant mountains. Let's suppose I'm wrong, that that other Apollo astronaut is in fact real. Okay, it still wouldn't matter. I'm looking at the distance and I'm seeing machinery. Now, I think what it comes down to is how big is this machinery? Is it a crashed craft? But it's either going to be astronomically sized or it's going to be something they can go over there and tinker with. Like picture like an engine block or uh, mechanical parts like that size laying on the ground. So it's going to be either or, right? Depending on your perception of that photo and the distance we're seeing. In my personal opinion, I don't believe that's a real astronaut. Judging by the footprints to that astronaut. Again, if you were to take that astronaut out of the equation, how large are those pieces now in the distance when we look at the astronaut's footprints in the foreground? I don't believe it's that far away. I'm going to just say just for the heck of it, 100 feet. And I think I'm really stretching it. I don't think it's even that far. But let's say a hypothetical. Then those things are not as big as we think they are. Folks, if you're looking at these photos, rip this photo apart. Look at it yourself. Tell me what you think. Drop your comments down below. I want to hear your thoughts and I want to know what you're saying. Don't forget to share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up so YouTube will share it. Anyway, folks, got some more Mars coming up as well as more Moon. So stay tuned for that. And these are pretty wild. You're going to like these. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace, folks.